How can anybody not be devastated by the fear and the pain that those animals are obviously suffering? What was the light bulb moment that made you rethink everything? I just felt like I can no longer, um, with a hand on my heart and with good faith, um, defend the industry. Um, it was an increasing realisation that the welfare regulations were not enough to guarantee a good life for the animals. One of my main regrets is that I didn't leave earlier, that I didn't listen to the doubts. These animals are caged for their entire lives, and that can't be right. And one of the cores of animal welfare is the ability to be able to exhibit natural behaviour. When an animal is caged, that is a complete contradiction to any definition of good welfare. So why is it, despite industry claims of delivering good welfare certification, why are we still seeing so many scenes like that? The regulations which are apparently in place to assure that the animals lead good lives. But for me, the reality was very different. How on earth can you have good welfare, whatever the certification is, when you have them cages barely bigger than the full gram animal? And I do believe that it is not possible for an animal to lead a good life, a happy life, mm. in a cage. In some of the stores who are selling the coyote trimmed parkers, if they had rolling footage that we've seen today of these coyotes in their leg hole traps, I wonder what that would do for their sales. No animal should end its life in that way, and certainly not for a piece of trim on a hood on a parker. So Mike, now the Humane Society International is calling for the UK fur sales ban. Do you support that? Fur production was banned in this country, yet we still support its production by allowing it to be brought in. To me, that's ambiguous. To me, it's no longer acceptable and we should ban it. Mm.